Love and light, everybody. Much love and light. I'm going to do a message from our higher self. Um, going to use sacred animals. I have sweet grass burning. I love the smell of sweet grass. I am feeling a lot of Native American energy. What we call that. Let me phrase that. What we call Native American energy. But I hear tribes. You know, I do live on a huge burial mound. Um, in Massachusetts, like right on a mound where Native Americans lay. And there's a big healing to be done. That's a big message about healing, all uh, levels, healing. Healing to learn from these chapters that we've gone through for this next phase on your journey. And it's going to be different for everybody. But as a collective, you know, I'm pulling in that message. I may pick up on a few of you. I may pick up on the collective. I'm not exactly, you know what I mean? I don't know until I'm in, but I love the energy because it's warm and inviting. The white raven, it's rare. It's a gift. Trust in the magic in 66. And that is not a negative number. And we have three. The holiday armadillo. The Maccabees. Set healthy boundaries. I heard Ross from Friends as soon as that came out. Trust in the magic. Look that up. Research that. Number three. And we have sixes. So we're down to a master number three. Ascended masters. The white wave is a very strong card. I'm going to leave that out. With the owl spirit. Wow. We have a lot of birds here. With the flamingo and the giraffe. I'm going to leave those. Close the parrot. Wow. And the snake. Which I've been 55 changes. I've been seeing that serpent uh, through the veil myself. I have a few images, profound images of that. Um, so we are in this magical time. And magic is serious. Um, it's not just, uh, how to explain it? I'm hearing not sunshine and rainbows. Like when you're dealing with different, because you're dealing with different energies. Um, that's the magic of it. I don't know. I can't explain what they're showing me, but it'll come out. So we have the white raven magic. You see clearly now. Embrace the in-between and see the big picture. Boom. Wow. So I'm connecting with you who those who see the in-between. You're at a different level for you how you see because the birds see different right birds see differently they have different vision giraffe very much tribal with that um and i've been noticing that too i'm seeing a lot of crosses um in onks in the veil and i've also seen like what looks like it's carved it's like a carved sunflower or flower right but it's a lion so that I'm being shown that 29, which is an 11 of the in-between. One and one is the in-between. Wise teacher, I'm hearing. Time to heal. <sighs> been saying that, it's time to heal. 55 with this, uh, the snake serpent um, energy. Serpent isn't all negative. I guess if you see life that way, sure. I, I choose, I don't. And I'm just that reader, too. Transformation is not easy. Our beliefs are changing. We all connect. We connect in the astral. So this is a powerful message from our higher self. I just can't walk away, right? There's a group of you who are really um, in the seven number. Highly spiritual soul highly connected into your soul for this transformation you know it's not easy it hurts it, transformation can be painful 55 maybe you're seeing um you know with the serpent here that's very intelligent energy by the way um i keep being okay where well, the giraffe is like tall right it's a different perspective and they're showing me how to see how the snake is coiled, but it's up high to get a different perspective. 
you had a significant different perspective on how you see things, how you handle things. Um, I'm here, I'm work in progress, but you're doing it. The flamingo, you, birds mate for life. So someone's in here that a connection's coming in as well. Uh, you're connecting into deeper into your soul because of that. <clears throat> That's aligning for you because it's supposed to. Wow. Okay, so I want to see what else wants to come out. Embrace it, but this is a huge ascension. My gosh. Your beliefs are changing. They're supposed to. They're supposed to. Right? You're connecting in with soulmate tribes. And all you are with your soulmate. When you're healing, you're doing, it's like going back to being an innocent kid. Healing in your child as well, but... Child, child, children see differently before this world gets, um, they see true through the veil. You hear something about that for you. You're tapping back into that. You were stuck, someone stuck, fresh start, or the karmic partner is in separation. Okay, this is the message that wants to come up. I'm also seeing mud. I'm seeing mud. I'm seeing spheres, not just the moon, spheres, okay, and dirt. I'm being shown this is a different message, a, se a separate, okay, I'm going to say this carefully, dirt, land, separation, which would create fresh dirt because of this time that we are in. <clears throat> Seeing the bigger picture. Seeing the bigger picture. I really hope you understand what I'm saying. It's ridiculous that I, like, I really do. I have to be so careful because, you know, this is entertainment purposes only. Owl spirit, you see clearly now. Those of you who understand what's going on around you worldly, which makes you very wise. You're paying attention to birds, maybe significant as far as you're getting messages, timing of things. Yeah, twin flame energy here. A return, a return. It is the time to the dragon energy. It is the time to the dragon energy for this to happen, which is in the winter. A deep understanding of this, these connections. I'm getting this person's literally coming through like a different way. I don't care how that sounds. I don't care if that sounds so out there. It's like they're allowed to come through to return because of this connection. Which would cause um, disruption as well. Help you get unstuck. Okay, so some of you really are in separation from a, per, you know, your a karmic person. It was a karmic partner. It's here in front of me. I am going to read it. All right, so some of you are <clears throat> healing from that. You're in separation. You hurt. It's kept you stuck. Um, you have an, an, a connection coming in. Some of you, it's you, and this could be totally different um, and not part of this, but I feel like it is... You've worked through this energy and because now we have, because of the clarity and a deeper understanding of your own soul path, this is coming through. It was the only way it can come through, which is a return. Lifetimes, not just this life, lifetimes. This does not necessarily mean someone that you've been dating and you're separated from and they're going, that does not, that's not what I'm getting from this at all. This is something at a different level, okay? of lives, of lives, uh, past lives. Without each other, you get this stuck in these weird loops. The healing is be ha being ha done with that. You guys, you two, you were healing this, or groups of souls are healing this. They've been shown the way. They are the guide as well because they're refocused, okay? Out of pride and ego. Someone's had to really work through a lot of pride and ego. Um, it was blocking their abilities. 
really it was blocking their abilities like they still had their abilities but like you know not to the level they if they un let go of ego and pride to the level that they're like a guide also you may have helped this person unlock that as well because when you're near each other you are healing each other which is bringing in this vibration and being shown of the return of the vibration for it to come through okay Horses may be key. Uh, peacocks may be key to you. Giraffes may be key. Flamingos, owls, and or crows. This person, yeah, someone's in a lot of regret energy. Uh, it's just, you know what? You gotta learn to let that go. That is not growth. Admire. You really helped this person. Some of you, this is a person you know and you really helped them. And they have a lot of regrets. Because they can see now. They can see. Yeah, that they've done a lot of healing cycles and settling. Something's going off in this person for this energy, okay? Big dream energy, moon, cycles and moon. To me, this is a consciousness energy, not just big dream. Like, it's consciousness admired. This person may have admired you as well. But you're, whoever I'm connecting into, you're in your own energy of you're achieving your big dreams. You're admiring you. And you're loving you the way you're supposed to. And it's helped healing these cycles as well, okay? From childhood, right down to childhood, because I have a teddy bear here with inner child. Help them heal those. Some of you, something about that childhood has been a cycle for you that you have supposed to really be working on to heal as well. And I'm not saying you're not, but I'm also picking up on those who are healing deep, uh, really deep um, healing. Because of other people's choices of settling as well on your journey. Because when you're a kid, you can't control, you know, whatever goes on in adulthood life, you know. You're just the kid and put you in cycles because of someone else's behavior and you learn you're learning that because it because it was someone else's behavior that created these patterns you're releasing them you learn you're learning how to to not let it affect you to in this here and now <clears throat> you're healing that which is bringing in this energy as well you very deep psychic connection between the two of you all right, what's going on with this person in regret? They are your tribe. They are your tribe family. You're manifesting that because you're in this energy that's coming in. If it's not already, it's coming in. Yeah, soulmates. The answer is yes. You're gonna recognize each other by the frequency. Dark Knight of the Soul energy is here, getting out of that victim mentality into ascension energy. Why do you understand this message received? You understand it's mirroring worlds and a great pause is here and coming to release, to release old ways for a cleansing, mirroring souls coming in. You two are mirroring each other. Swans mate for life. But this is also, I'm feeling a great pause. Sorry about that, my, my grandbaby's here watching YouTube. A great, wow, a great pause and release. Like, great pause <clears throat> and release. Because of that. Some of you know, it's about that. It's about the ascension. You understand it's mirroring worlds. You're in solitude. A lot of us are. Star seeds are. We are. We we choose that. Again, we choose that. That is the wise. Not to allow other outside um, energies to affect your journey too much because you understand the level of com it's not even like a commitment. You're just so your soul knows. Your soul knows and your soul is doing it and it's like you the rest of you better catch up with it 
And that's what's going on here. Getting away from people who act like this as well. Helping people who act like this as well. Multi-level, multi-dimensional. Some people are coming into your path because of this, for help, because you've been through it, to help them. If they're willing, you know, you'll know for you, you will use your discernment, because they're going through a dark night of the soul, they're part of your tribe. Okay, but you'll feel that. You'll feel that for you. Muse, trust your instincts, your projects, your, your intuition. Um, someone's going through some grief and numbing. They were, they are. And you're doing a lot of sitting by the ocean. Thinking about changing. It's a lot of, the, I got third party here going on. I have to go with it. Surrender. Someone has let go of a third party because some kind of justice stepped in. Whether that's actually legally court um, and or people, place, just people, places, and things. Third party energy is people, places, and things. I was doing a lot of thinking, healing, seeing that they did that because of that. And it's, you know, it's okay to feel the feelings. Numbing your feelings is not the solution for anything. And it's really not. And if you're getting in, stuck in cycles, which is here, um, it's okay to ask for help. Because we can't do it alone. So when we're talking about addictions, and I know I'm connected in with some that are we are a star seed. We go listen, star seeds as light as we are, we can go dark, deep, because we're so deep. If that makes sense, you know what I mean. Because I I don't know how it should make sense. Um, because of the way we feel to shut it off, but then it betrays us because it doesn't shut it off and it enhances it, makes it even tenfold, and then you don't know how to handle it because you are putting something outside of your body in your body to numb your whatever you're going through, like, I call it psychic stuff, soul stuff, um, you know, and I'm, t I'm talking like, I'm picking up on some, like, excessive, excessive, I'm hearing excessive, not just... No judgment, just excessive. Um, someone's really seeing that and it's putting them in cycles and they, you don't want to be in cycles anymore. I can feel almost your frustration. I think you're done being in cycles. Take a step to change that for you or don't. It'll help balance everything out for you and it will. Trust the signs that you're seeing about this. Hopefully in this reading there are signs for you. Balancing the scales. Pay attention to the signs. All right, I want to close out with um, read these out because there's a lot of releasing here. Turning it over, turning it over, trusting, relying on, and turning it over. Sometimes solitude isn't the best as well, but use your discernment clearly for that. I find, yeah, you have to be in solitude to release this stuff. But that's me, everybody's different. Yeah, deception, temptation. So these illusions, it's kept you confused. It does it on purpose, because you're a star seed. It does it on purpose. The autumn harvest. Some of you are like guarded, closed off. You're really trying to release that and work on not being like that so much. Yeah, see, so closed off, guarded. You might be someone you're connected to who might have you shut off. But you're getting messages through the realms from this person and you are... There's some heavy energy here, distort, like, chaos. All right, what's this message coming through for? Archangel Metatron, why is this message coming through? Trust your, write down your dreams. Self-love and creation, remember to love yourself. Being self-love energy is super important right now. To know thyself, to thy own self, be true, helps you create from your from your heart chakra self-care see self-care 
integrates the union within you always first not it's not always about another but you i am picking up on unions coming in yeah release and surrender purge someone may be detoxing and purging you may have been detoxing purging people places and things seriously people places and things because you're remembering who you are the awakening that is more important to you on your journey right now you're surrendering to it with, with that comes releasing a lot of our lifetime and ancestor lifetime emotions memories back whatever you want to label that it's a release of that it's, that's that's not easy it's not, I don't want to say not easy but that's a so serious energy to be working through that's it see I don't this isn't light to me this is not like a light reading this is you guys are really integrating doing the work however that is for you writing communicating uh, working with others um, asking for help is really you guys are going through a significant dark night of the soul for this ascension it's like the changing ch chamber distance facades home and structures you got a lot of facade fake people around you distancing yourself you may have been dealing with someone who's wearing masks as well that is um affecting your foundation and structure take a leap of faith so you have something coming in for you as well go forward opportunities are here stay in the self-care energy okay because you are remembering what you're supposed to do here and you're hearing the signs for you to what you need to do for you staying away from this crap right here right into this energy and that's a beautiful energy i feel forming structures in your own soul building blocks for your own soul self-love and creation then to bring in higher unions with others helping others if we can't help anybody till we can help ourselves first right but i'm talking to people who are way past that who are in unions and working with others because you're in this self-love self-care and you're showing others how to do that to how to love yourself and and care for yourself because it does raise the frequency and vibration in our biorhythms, our body, our soul, our mind, our spirit, and beyond the spectrum. Much love, everybody. Much love.